welcome on board thank you for joining me so today we are going to be talking about the instructions for the fast so please stay tuned invite somebody to to join us thank you for coming on board once again if you know somebody who needs to fast together with us from tomorrow please get them involved invite them invite them say hello once you come on board let me know you are watching it will be nice to know where you are watching from if you are joining us for the first time my name is peace uh, we've done so many videos so if you want to enjoy them especially during this lockdown do your best to follow the single with a life facebook page or you can go to married with a life facebook page we've got so many videos there for you so last week I did a video on how to be single and tidy and I treated personal hygiene. So if you have any issues with personal hygiene, please find the video and watch it. This year's fasting is going to be a different one. And this June is exactly one year since we started our fasting for Single with a Life. So we are really in for a treat. Please get a book, get a piece of paper or a book to jot down the instructions for the fast so that you can have the best, you can achieve the best out of this fasting period. So our fasting is starting from tomorrow, 1st of June, till the end of June, so it's 30 days. And the theme is, answer me Lord, answer me Lord. There are so many people who have been crying to God um, to answer them so this is the time God is going to answer us so we're going to petition him Lord answer me answer me and the scripture is Psalm 69 verse 16 please invite somebody to join us be a blessing to somebody in this season I'm going to read Psalm 69 verse 16 It's to do with the message of God. Sometimes when you pray, you pray, you pray, you pray, you do all the binding and the casting down and the back to sender and fall down and die and nothing seems to be moving then you know that you have to change the prayers. So we are going to rely on the message of God. We're going to ask God for mercy, that his mercy will help us to receive answers to the long-standing questions or prayers that we've prayed it is time for a change Psalm 69 verse 16 it says answer me Lord out of the goodness of your love in your great mercy turn to me that's NIV so New King James says hear me O Lord for your loving kindness is good Turn to me according to the multitude of your tender mercies. So we're going to pray that in this 30 days of fasting, the Lord will turn to us according to the multitude of his tender mercies, that he will have mercy upon us and answer us. Okay, so this year's fasting is going to go in a different direction. So it's going to be from six to six, okay? So if you've never fasted before, please fast. This is the time, fast. You know, crying is not enough. Um, crying is not enough and complaining is not enough. Sometimes you just have to do something different. So, and sometimes to the everyday praying, praying, praying is not enough until you fast. We are fasting from six to six. You can drink water after 12 p.m. Yeah, um, so if you, are not, if you are not sick, if you don't have any medical condition, there shouldn't be a reason why you can't do this, okay? Because fasting requires a lot of discipline and a lot of focus, and that is why fasting is powerful because when you go the extra mile, um, God sees your seriousness, and it also makes you focus because when you are eating and you are doing this, you are here and there, it takes so much away from you. But when you are not eating, it's like 
everything in you becomes focus. Your attention, you, you have focus attention. So you're able to hear God clearly and, and your spirit becomes lighter to be able to receive from God quickly. Okay. So it's important that if you don't have any medical conditions, try and go on this fast. If you have, you have ulcer, please don't fast. If you have any medical condition that does not allow you to stay away from food for a long time, don't fast. Okay. I've got people who come to me and say, uh, I've got ulcer, but I really, really want to fast. I know people who have fasted in their previous um, fasting that we've done who had ulcer and the ulcer was healed. They were cured of their ulcer through the fast, but I will not tell you to fast. Okay. It's your own personal judgment. And if for any reason you want to fast, even with your medical condition, try and have a lot of water, drink a lot of water and have some fruits. Okay. Um, sometimes people want to just, people want to um, satisfy their, their conscience that they are also fasting. So you can do fruit fast or you can do smoothie, blend the fruits and then have it. Yeah. If that will help you. But if you are not sick, you should be able to at least up to 12 p.m. Okay. Right. And then write down all your prayer points and focus all your prayers during the day on them so that you know exactly what you are praying about. Sometimes we are not specific in our prayers. So even when God answers the prayer, you don't know that it has been answered. Okay. But when you write it down, you are able to take the boxes once they get answered. I've got a book um, that I've written on all our, our prayer request down. So during the day, I'll be posting scriptures regarding mercy. So you can use those scriptures. I'm not going to give any specific prayer point per se. Okay. When I post the prayers, uh, post the scriptures on the Facebook page, it's just going to be scriptures regarding mercy. And then you, you know, the request that you are praying about, use those prayer, the, those scriptures to pray over those pr prayer requests that you have. And then where we'll become more specific is when we meet up to pray. So I will still be doing the Facebook live broadcast on um, Sundays at 7 p.m. And then I will 7 p.m. UK time. And during the fast, during the broadcast, I'll be sharing some of the testimonies that we've received from previous years because we've had a lot of fasting so far and the testimonies have come but because of schedule i've not been able to share them so as part of the broadcast on sundays i'll be sharing some of the testimonies and then this is where everything is going to be different from previous years we are going to be praying a lot on zoom okay so i'll be posting the zoom link on the facebook page so if you go on the single with a live facebook page or married with a live facebook page you'll find it so this fasting is for both married and single with a live so the Zoom prayer time will be for at least 30 to 40 minutes and it will be in the evening, UK time, 6 p.m. But that's when we'll be breaking the fast. So if you are in Ghana, that will probably be, it will be, I think we are one hour ahead of you. So it'll be 5 p.m. Ghana time. So when you come, you pray for 30 to 40 minutes. By the time we finish and you go and get ready, you know, it will be six o'clock and then you can break your fast. If you are in Nigeria, after we finish praying, you can go and break your fast. Okay. I will, I would finish praying before I go and break the fast. But if you, you want to break your fast before you join in, it's up to you. But the whole idea is that we want to gather at six o'clock UK time on zoom and break the fast. So I'll be coming up with prayer point and they will be praying. So apart from your personal prayer point, there are prayer point that God will lay on my heart that will be in line with your personal prayer point, And they will pray about it. Um, in the evenings, uh, night, night time, we'll be praying as well. This is one of the biggest challenges that I'm having to do. It's my first time going to do every day like that. So um, it's a challenge, but God will, will help me. Okay, so in the evening, in the night, 1 a.m. UK time, that will be 12 a.m. Ghana time. Okay, if you're in any other country, you have to do your own because I don't know how many uh, the time difference in your country. 6 p.m. UK time, we are praying to break the fast, 6 p.m. And then 1 a.m. UK time, we are coming together to pray again and that will actually start you for the next day. 
okay so the things we are going to be praying about specific things we are going to be praying about marriages okay so i know many of our singles you are growing now many of you are in your 30s and you are not married so we want to be praying into that okay um one of the things that prophecies that came into swell god gave us six names we've been praying about those six names since uh, last year and God is saying that once these people are released, there will be abundance of marriages breaking out. Okay, for singles, um, if you are in Swell or you are connected to Swell, it will come through for you. So we want to release these people. We are going to use them as a point of contact to pray for marriages. And then uh, we are going to pray for jobs. Okay, the reason is because the vision is about effective singleness and marriage preparation. So it's important that we have marriages breaking out from the vision. And it's important that our single don't sit home doing nothing. Okay, so apart from you, um, the fact that we are encouraging all our singles, start your own businesses. Even if there are no jobs, start your own businesses. Some of us need the jobs. Okay, you will need to be on a salary until that time whereby we can start our own business. So we want to release those jobs. Um, we don't want our singles to be staying at home. And then the third thing is that there are so many of us that God has given us prophecies. Maybe before you were born, there was a prophecy about your life. Or when you were born, there was a prophecy about you. Or maybe even as you are growing up, you go to church. Um, you've been told prophecies that when you grow up or at this age, you become this, you become that. Maybe too, God has spoken to you directly. You've heard an audible voice or you've had an impression of where you must be at a specific time. And for some reason, you've still not seen that manifesting. We are going to pray over those prophecies. So write all your prophecies down. If you are, if you are not sure of any prophecies about your life, call your parent. We've done this in Swell before on the WhatsApp group where we ask everybody, call your parent, call your guidance, um, ask them what are the prophecies about your life. Okay, so call them. Find out, mommy, before I was born, was there any prophecy about my life? Or during my infancy, was there any prophecy? And then, so that when you know the prophecy or what is, is about you, you can pray into it because prophecies don't just happen. You've got to pray them to come to pass. Okay. Um, it's just like miracles. They don't just happen. You work it. God, when God gives somebody the, the gift of working of miracles, you've got to work it. Okay. Because maybe you've got a prophecy that you, um, there is a gift of miracles that God is placed on you. But you are sitting down, you think it would happen automatically. It will not happen automatically. You've got to equip yourself and pray into it and God will bring it to, to pass in your life. So any prophecies that has been given to you that has uh, tarried or taken so long to come to pass, we are going to manifest them through our words as we pray. And then um, the other one is breaking negative curses. So these are the impressions God has given me many of us somebody has said to you you will marry for me to see okay and maybe when they said it you just laughed and you think they are joking when people make a negative pronunciations about you it's because they are standing on something they've got a, a backing a demonic backing because people don't just speak anybody who has a right spirit would speak right things into your life when you meet people or you have somebody who is always declaring the negative things into your life, saying uh, gloom and doom and say you become this, you let's see if you finish this course, let's see if you marry, let's see if you ever work. As long as I live, this will never happen for you. Then you know they are standing on something negative and you should not take their words for granted because if you don't pray into it to break it, eventually it would happen to you. Okay, so one of the things I taught uh, this week on the WhatsApp group is that if somebody speaks negatively against you, if they utter a negative word right in front of them, reject it. Don't laugh over it and don't say, well, it won't happen to me. Reject it. Say to them, I reject these words in the name of Jesus. It will not happen to me. Okay, you can even say back to sender. If you think this is good for me, I give it back to you. Take it back. It's not for me. I reject it. Okay, and you've got to speak it into their hearing. Make sure they hear it. Okay, if you if it's on the phone that they are speaking to you, speak the words back to them. Say me, this will not happen to me. It is you that it will happen to. Okay, if you don't reject it, you you go away and it's, it will start manifesting. So after you've rejected it in their hearing, 
Then that week, make sure you spend time praying against it. Make sure you spend time praying against it. Don't take it for granted because words are very, very powerful. Okay, so that's all we'll be doing. And then if for any reason you are not able to join the Zoom time, you can still be praying about these things that I've said. So curses, praying against negative words that has been spoken to your life. Any curse, it could be even words that you don't even know. Okay, curses that you are not even aware that they are, they are there. Pray against them. Pray for the manifestation of your prophecies. Pray for jobs, for, for swallings and for any single for yourself. That's if you are not working. Even if you are working and you need, because some of our singles, they are working on, on a part-time basis or they are working on contract. Maybe you need a permanent contract. Pray for yourself and pray for other people. Maybe you, you want a promotion, okay? A change of job. Pray about that. And then marriages. So th these are the four key areas that we'll be praying into when we gather on, on Zoom. Okay, so you can add it to your own urgent prayer point okay and the fifth one is your agent prayer point your agent 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 ones okay so um and then the other instruction is we have to also feed our spirit with the word of god so because we are most of us are young people uh sometimes we struggle to read when you start reading from genesis you get to leviticus and you are sleeping you're like what are they talking about you know i started reading um Every year I try to go to the Bible, so I listen to it. I like to listen to it, especially Old Testament. But this year I said to myself, I'm not going to listen to it. I'm going to read it from the hard copy itself. So I started doing that. I got to Leviticus. I'm like, my goodness, what are they talking about? You know, it's like so many days, so many days, the rules. And, you know, so it can be very, quote, 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 boring if uh, you are a young person so we want to still get something going so start with the gospels the gospels is very easy to read It's the life of jesus how he lived his life the words he spoke the boldness that he had you know so and when you start studying that because the bible says we need to be like christ so it's important that you learn how he was how did he live his life on earth what his behavior, his attitude, when people accuse him, how does he counteract them? You know, these kind of things. And when you read, you, you'll be like, wow, what kind of man is this? It's just powerful. So the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they are four books, but all of them together is 89 chapters, all the four books, 89 chapters. If you read three chapters from Matthew, Matthew 1, Matthew 2, Matthew 3 today tomorrow you, you continue multi multi four five six if you start doing that by the end of the 30 days you would have read through the whole of the gospels okay so mark matthew mark luke and john and then um that is do that in the mornings so wake up a bit early if you used to wake up maybe um five o'clock and get ready for work wake up maybe four thirty or four o'clock in the morning and read. So spend time in the morning, read those three chapters before you leave. And then in the evening, read the Psalms. The Psalms is full of praises, worship, and then prayers, okay? David is praying, literally David is teaching us how to pray against wicked people, enemies and all of that. And most of the time when there are persistent issues in your life, that you've prayed and prayed and prayed. There is somebody, there's a hand in it. And it could be somebody even so close to you. It's, it would be somebody who is close to you. A family member, a very good friend of yours or somebody around you. Okay. But you may not know. The Bible says that a, a, a man's enemies, enemies will be members of his own household. So they will not be any strangers. They will be people very close to you. And David is teaching us how to pray against enemies, pray against wickedness. So those who say back to sender is not biblical, it is biblical. If it's not biblical, the Bible will not say that whoever digs a pit will fall into it. You dig a pit for me, you, you fall into it. Is that not back to sender? He say if you roll a stone against me or you roll a stone towards me, the stone will roll back to you. If you set a, a trap for me, you will fall into your own trap. That's back to sender. Okay, that's... So... Um, Use the Psalms, and I, I also say that the five chapters that you are reading, read them in the evening before you sleep. Okay, so you can even pray them. 
You are not just reading them, you are praying them. Because some of the words, the verses will stand out to you. Meditate on them and pray them before you sleep. The Psalms is 150 chapters. If you read five chapters a day, by the end of the 30 days, you will be done. Okay, so those are the key instructions for the first one. I'll be posting the Zoom link. It will have a password. You can join us from any country. The more people will get, it will give us an idea of whether we have to subscribe and then we'll get uh, a lot of particip participants to join us, maybe 300, 500,000. Yeah, so it's going to be very effective. Please come on board to the Zoom. Encourage me, yeah, because... This is hard work for me. I'm working full time. This lockdown, I'm still working full time. Yeah. So it means that right after work, because sometimes I finish like six o'clock on the dot or I work in shift on shift basis. And this week, my shift, the whole of this week, my shift is quiet. Yeah. So if I can finish work and then I come and sign up, wait and I'm waiting for you and you don't show up then. Don't discourage me. Anyway, whether you come or not, I'll still be praying. Even if it's two people, three people will still do it. Okay, so try and come on board. Let's make it powerful. Yeah. If you're on the WhatsApp group, we will still be praying. I will still be teaching. We'll, all the activities of the, the normal activities, we'll still be doing them. Okay. And then we'll be praying our usual Saturday, Sunday, Monday dawns. Yeah. We'll do the same thing. Okay. If you want to join the WhatsApp group, please join us. Um, I've teach a lot on the WhatsApp group. We do business talks. If you are um, you have a business in Swa, you want to, you know, talk about the business, you can always do that. We have a platform for you to do that. Yeah, it will help you to even those who are looking to start new businesses can learn from you. Okay. Last week I did a whole teaching on um, interviews, how to pass a job interview. Yeah, and the reason is because we had coordinators interview and some of them were behaving very funny you know somebody come come to a zoom interview and he was not wearing any top i was like boss you are coming to an, an official interview you're not wearing anything <laughs> another person was holding a bucket i'm going to fetch what i said what's going on here you know wrong attitude right so and some of them when you ask them questions the response they give is almost like they live in heaven they forget that jesus is not going to be the one working for them people need to hear you speak and convince them that you can do the work don't give any uh, spiritual whatever yeah so we teach all these things on the whatsapp group so if you are single and maybe you are lonely you are depressed you don't have any friends you want to develop your spiritual life but you can't do it come when you come, you meet people who are like you. When we teach these small, small things here and there, you pick up on that. You pick it. Yeah? You pick it and you can run with it. You get friends who can encourage you and motivate you to live beyond your 9 to 5. You know, and I've, we've done a whole thing about this 9 to 5 as well. People think that their life is about 9 to 5 work. You know, once it's five, five o'clock and you close work, you think it's time to go to bed. You think your day has ended. Your day has not ended. We've done all of this on the WhatsApp group, but there are certain things I can't, when I come here, I can't do them. Okay, because there's no enough time. I can just speak about a few stuff and then go. But if you come on the WhatsApp group, you are learning a lot and you are learning from what I'm doing on the, on the Facebook page as well. Okay, so please join us on, um, I'll be starting a love language class. Again, it's going to be on, on Zoom and it's going to start from July. The poster is on my timeline, Peace Amewowo, and it's also on the Facebook page. It's going to be for five weeks, five sections on love languages. It's not expensive at all. If you are in Ghana, it's 20 CDs for all the five sections. That means you are paying five CDs per section. You won't get this anywhere. Okay, I'm doing this because I want people to come with some kind of seriousness. Know that you come and then you are playing, you are not serious, you think it's one of those things. No, I want you to learn something. And sometimes when people people pay for what they do, they value it. Okay. If you are in UK, it's fifteen uh, pounds. If you are in Nigeria, thousand naira. If you are in US, it's twenty uh, dollars. Whichever country you are, get in touch with me at Peace Amewa World 2018 
at gmail.com or you can send me a WhatsApp message 0044-750-600-9931. All the information is on, is on the poster. If you get in touch with me, I will register you and then we'll start. It's going to be on Thursdays, Thursdays only. So if you, you check the poster, all the information is there. And then we would have an amazing time where you can ask questions. It will be very, very interactive. You may even meet people, new people on the, on the Zoom link and make friends with them. You never know. The singles, your husband can show up there. Your wife can show up. You never know. Yeah. So please, let's get involved. Don't tell me it's too expensive because some of you, what you do for your boyfriends and you do for your girlfriends and still they cheat on you. They still cheat on you. They still leave you. You build a house for your girlfriend. She didn't marry you. Maybe it's not a house she wanted to. If you know her love language, it will be very easy for you to love her the way she wants. Okay. Maybe you are giving your girlfriend money every day. You give your boyfriend, you bought all the gadgets, every latest phone, your boyfriend, hey, you bought one for him. But still, he will cheat. He will leave you. And you are wondering, what else can I do? Maybe you don't know his love language. If you know his love language or you know your girlfriend's love language, it will help you to love her the way she will really appreciate Okay, so it is important that you, even if you are not in a relationship or you don't, you are not thinking of getting married, you still need to know your love language, know people's love language, because we are all living with people. You are not going to be living alone in this world. So you need to know how to appreciate people, how, what to do so that people really know that you really love them and how to also communicate your love language to other people. Okay, um, I had a, somebody, somebody I spoke to regarding the the teachings, the classes, and she said, oh, I don't think I'll need any love, love in the meantime, because she was having these marital problems. <laughs> and she's saying to me, she doesn't think she will, she will need love for a very long time. And I said, it doesn't matter. Maybe currently where you are, you need to know your love language and your husband's love language to be able to turn things around. Maybe you're having those issues because he doesn't feel appreciated or he doesn't feel loved the way he wanted. Okay, so invest into your future, invest into your marriage, your future marriage, or even if you are already married, invest into it. Four CDs per section is not going to make you broke. Okay, it's an investment into your own future, which would help you rather than spending thousands of money, taking somebody to school, um, doing everything for them and they still leave you. What's the point? Yeah. Okay, so this book is still in Ghana. Um, the sponsorship, those of you who have sponsored me, God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you. I can see some of you watching. I won't mention names, but God bless you so much. Um, we still have a few copies left. If you want to fast along with this book, because the book is 40 days, and every day it gives you something to do, 40 days fast. I've done so much about the book. Because of time, I'm not going to really go into it. Maybe my next session I will... I will talk about it more. If you want a copy at the same price, 35 Ghana, so that you can fast along with it during this fasting, get in touch with me. I'll connect you to the lady in charge. Okay, we've just got a few copies left. You can take them at the price of 35. Okay, and then uh, fast along with it. Yeah, but if you still want to sponsor and you want to pay more than 35 Ghana CDs for a copy, maybe you want to pay 50 Ghana, 60 Ghana, 100 Ghana, um, you can still get in touch with me. Yeah. God bless you all. I'm going to love and leave you. Have an amazing, amazing, amazing so evening. Sweet. And I hope to see you tomorrow. So I will be posting the scriptures for the fast tomorrow morning or maybe before the day break. Yeah. And then the Zoom link to I will post it. Try and then join, even if it's 10 minutes to time or five minutes to time, join in because you don't know, there, there may be so many people in the queue, you may not be able to make it, yeah, if, <laughs> if there, there's more than 100 people, yeah, but as I said, if we have more than 100 people trying to join, we would subscribe and, and get um, the capacity for everybody, yeah. Okay, please share this broadcast with somebody. My name is Peace Amewowo. Please share the broadcast. Invite your friends to join Single with a Life. And your life will not be the same again. And we are also on YouTube. 
So every week on weekends, we release a video called The Impact. It's actually helping, talking about SWAL. So those of our members who have benefited from SWAL, they are sharing their testimonies. So if you go on the YouTube uh, channel, you'll see testimony videos there. And then every Wednesday, we also release a new video. If you're on the MWAL Facebook page, if you're watching me from MWAL, um, Married with a Life, we have a YouTube channel as well. And we release videos every Monday, new videos. I've just finished a series and it's called um, My Journey from Courtship to Life After Honeymoon. If you watch that video, you, you, you will not be in a hurry to get married, but you also appreciate that marriage is beautiful, okay? And you will take your time to actually prepare yourself. So I've said it that if you have not watched those videos, it's episode one to six to 16. I've touched on so many things from the time I met my husband, how we met, how we courted, our courtship period, planning for wedding, the honeymoon, the wedding itself, um, and how we are living now. Okay, so if you've not watched any one of them, you are not ready for marriage. <laughs> okay, so watch all those 16 episodes before you get married. If you don't watch them, I'm saying, no God, I'm saying you are not ready for marriage yet. Okay, especially if you're swallowing. So make sure that you watch them and be blessed. The song in the, in the background is My Soul Says Yes, and it's by Sonny Badu. Thank you for watching once again. God bless you. And have a wonderful week. Share with two people at least before you leave. Let me make sure I've not missed any message. Okay, no comments apart from now. Uh, God bless you too now. Okay, have a wonderful week. Take care. See you tomorrow. God bless you all. Bye.